Hello people of YouTube and welcome to another Inferno Remastered and today we are doing a Portal 2 uh, Let's Build this week. This week's uh, theme is to make a chamber uh, that would be in the real game. Uh, so I've had to create, I've actually created multiple chambers in this map. Um, now the problem is, is for me remembering what the hell I did in each chamber um, because I had four separate little puzzles. Um, right, hold on, the first one. Might have a random junk cut here, guys. Random junk cut. Here we go. Right, <laughs> another random junk cut, and I've tried to remember uh, what I did in each chamber. This is probably half the chambers I'm going to make now are probably not going to end up anything like um, the map that Rage plays. <laughs> um, simply because I've done four mini puzzles in the map. Um, they're basically designed, they're supposed to, they're, they're really simple puzzles, they're not hard to solve. Um, but there's multiple ways of solving the puzzles, and only one is the correct way. If he tries to solve it the wrong way, uh, they're going to end up killing Rage. Um, so, um, right, well, let's make these all non portable first. Sorry. Don't end up with lots of portable surfaces everywhere. Right, so. If I remember rightly, something like that, and we had four in, and then we had some water. Water. Let's so we'll go for a swim, and we had a fifth plate. So this was it was one smaller. It was very narrow chambers. Right. Uh, so this plate here, uh, I set so when he if he jumps on this, uh, it will just disappear into the water uh, and kill him. So that's not the correct way. Um, we had on the back wall here. Uh, was this whole wall portable? I can't remember. Uh, a portable surface on the back wall. Uh, no, that was right. I think I only had. No, I had the whole back wall portable. I think. Um, I had a portable surface up here and a switch plate down here. We had a laser here and a activation. I think that was in the corner. It was. And there was, I believe, one of those there and one of those there and there's also one was there two? no there wasn't, there was just the one uh, but I had another one up there I think that's more right and he starts with a cube right, uh, have to do some explaining uh, but it's hard to explain without the puzzle fully set up. So, um, he starts off with the cube, he needs to get to the other side, so he needs to set a portal on the portal surface behind him to the upper portal wall, which will drop him on the other side. Now, when he gets to the other side, there is a trigger input which will rotate round this portable wall, so he'll be able to portal back um, because he can't jump up through the ceilings. So, um, he needs to take the cube with him, and he then needs to aim the cube. Uh, I think that was there. He needs to aim the cube through both of these, and in aiming it through both of them, it would open a hidden door on the side here. Uh, like, was it that deep? Maybe it was only that deep. Uh, so we had. A hidden wall on the other side. Uh, and, uh, so this would open up to reveal a second. Uh, oh, that was it, yes. So I had the. Just in case he dropped it in the water. So I had a second cube inside here. So um, after activating both lasers, the door would open. He'd be able to go inside to grab the second cube and then aim the laser. Oh, I think that was there actually. There. Um, and then he would 
So we need both of these active to open this door and he needs both of these two active to open the exit. Now to make it a bit easier so he knows kind of what he's got to do, I have shown these connections. So he knows that those connections open the door so he knows he doesn't need this connection as well, he just needs the two. So you can see so with one cube travel laser through here, so he needs to not jump on the wall. So once he's done that, he then needs to portal back across through the uh the now hidden the portal surface at the top there, uh, to get to the uh next chamber. Um although I have now just realised I've connected those to the exit. Uh so time for another uh random jump cut to change that to the door and I can go have a look at uh how I created the uh, second puzzle and uh, show you how I done that. Okay, I've gone ahead and uh, just created the uh, outer shell for the second chamber. Now, this one uh, was uh, a, a lot more simpler. So, after the first chamber, um, there is. Oh, a second. Okay, doesn't want to do it that way. Let's do it that way. Uh, a second plate. Now, uh, this time, um, I'm going to place it on the wall just so you guys can see. I have hidden this laser. Um, there is a hidden laser uh, here. Uh, has a type laser. And he has a portal at the top. And now uh, this is turned off. It's a type. Turned off. So, uh, now this time. Um, he would have to jump across. So if he actually, if he portals up to the portal, when he jumps through the portal, there's a trigger input. So when he travels through the block, it turns on this laser, which is hidden. He can't see the sides, uh, which will kill him. So if he tries to portal uh, across, um, he is going to get uh, killed. Um, I think I had a second. No, that was later on a later one. Right. Uh, so he simply this one's another nice easy one. He simply just has to jump across to grab the cube, and he needs to jump back and place the cube um, button type cube on here. Now, when he places the cube on here, his way across. Um, is going to disappear so this ramp will then move down so he's then kind of trapped on this side so he needs to figure out how to get back across um, now I had set uh, another button here I think it's on this chamber I might be adding the wrong puzzle to the wrong chamber here um, I had a portable surface at the top that's right and all this was portable as well, and I had a switch plate here connected to this button. No, this isn't right. Right, so uh, this was wrong, and uh, this was on the next chamber, or on a, f a future chamber. Uh, right, this was just. The, so I've been a bit nice to raise this. We've actually made the, the uh, puzzles not too difficult. It's just mainly um, what you can try to solve them. So I did have the portal surfaces here originally. Um, now this was because they were a bit close to this wall and quite hard to set a portal on. So I could have done that to frustrate Rage a bit, but I thought I'll make it easier. I move them back one. Um, so uh, now you're on your way across. Uh, here has gone. You need to do a free fall. Uh, set two portals on these both these two portable surfaces. So you're falling at maximum velocity, uh, place a portal on the back wall here, so change your top portal to the back wall here, which will fling you across uh, to the other side, um, which uh, will then have the door open. So sorry, this button here, that sends this down, this is also uh, connected to the door. Oh, my bad. The door here, so this would also open the door, and this was invisible, so he could see that that was the place he needed to get to. So he would jump over to get the cube, if he portals he dies, set the cube back, opens the door but sends this trap, well not a trap, this platform down so he can't jump across, he then needs to portal at maximum velocity and send himself across to the other side. Okay, chamber two done. Now uh, this is when they get slightly more options down into the uh, next chamber. Um, right, so how many high were these? These were four high. 
is that going to clash with the water? No. So they were four high and five wide. Oops. So. Oh uh, no. Turn that on. There we go. Four hide and five wide. Oh, wrong way. See ah, that's annoying. Turn the portable surfaces off. There wasn't any there in the first place. Alright, see if I can get the correct button this time. So this is why I just prefer to use the key. I tried to use everyone saying use the shortcut keys and phones, it's much quicker, but I end up going the wrong way. <laughs> Uh, listen, this way, I know I'm going the correct way. Right, oh, that's far too large. I think it's about there. So you always had four at the beginning, and three, and then three. Um, now, originally, I had the second two chambers set as lasers on the ground instead of water to make it look like a more deadly chamber. Um, however, uh, I ran out of items, so I had to get rid of some items, so I had to get rid of the lasers. I had a, a, a block. In the middle. I think I still had the block in the middle. I did. I should have set another one of these. Um, so now he has a block, so uh, this is not going to disappear. We've already tricked him once with that disappearing, so, uh, and the second time he realised it's a block. So, uh, this time uh, he can jump across. Now, I, however, this is still the wrong answer. I have a hidden uh, kill laser in the wall here. Uh, is it tight? laser which will not activate until he jumps onto this cube so if he tries to jump across he will get killed by the kill laser um, again he has uh, a portable surface um, up here I'm just gonna check I'm doing the right I don't care if I'm doing the right one I'm oh I may have these last two puzzles the wrong way around but uh, they're separate chambers so um, so he's got his time, he has a portable surface here and a portable surface here and he has a cube over here uh, which was it here? or oh, here, it was one of the two, doesn't think it really matters that kept landing on a plate sending it across however there is a fizzler here killing the cube so he can't pick up the cube, he needs to get across to actually get the cube and then I had, this was the one I had the button for so I then had a button over here with a uh, rotatable surface on the ground so he would need to, this one, the portal going across so is correct so he needs to portal across um, on the ceiling uh, once he's across he needs to grab the cube, he needs to stand on this button he needs to set a portal on the ceiling and the floor and get the cube travelling at maximum velocity and then send it the cube flying across to so change the portal to here to send the cube flying across uh, back to the other side uh, I actually had a second fizzler here now there's a reason for this um, simply because I only had one portal surface simply because um, I didn't want him just placing the cube on here, setting a portal on the ground and uh, jumping back. Um, so, uh, with the cube, or jumping through it, because he, he could stand on here send the cube through. I can't remember, there was a way of glitching it, and I managed to glitch it, so um, it's, the second fizzler stops him uh, from setting a portable surface on here from this side so he can't just portal back um, or he can't just send the cube through via portal and then jump back that was it, he could send the cube through by standing on here and then just jump back, so the idea is Rage is for Rage can safely jump back through the surface but the, he needs to get the cube back so once he sends the cube flying across back to this side um, again I think I just had, oops, I had a button uh, I think it was just a pressure button yeah so he could step on it and see that it opens the door which was here uh, another door. Where are you doors? And that was connected to the door. Um, right, so th uh, that was the uh, fifth chamber. Now the last chamber. Well, not fifth. Oh my god, getting my numbers mixed up. That's not the fifth chamber, that's the third chamber. Really? Can't count Inferno. Jesus Christ. Right. Um, okay. Uh, oh, it was a bit too wide. And then the final chamber. Uh, another puzzle. 
I can't really remember what I'd done for this final challenge. Oh, I remember. Okay, but I remember what was in it, but I can't remember how to solve it. <laughs> what clever me. Uh, so it's one, two, three, four, three down. Yeah, that's the right size. Now, again, I just had in the middle a hidden. Again, there's only one when jumping across the middle is going to be correct. So I think he's going to guess the first one kills you, second one he can jump across. Third one kills you, this one he can jump across. Um, so I think he might attempt to jump across again. Uh, but in that case, uh, there is another kill laser there. Um, uh, which will get activated if he jumps across with another trigger input. And uh, I need some water here. Right. Uh, now, how did I do this? I had uh right oh god what was this this might have to be another jump cut and right okay this puzzle consisted of a laser here a laser cube over this side uh let's have it just drop it in the corner I like to hide those laser cube well, not a laser cube, but a reflective cube. And uh, this was uh, all portable. And there was a laser receiver. Um, did I have two laser receivers or one? Okay, there was, well, there was a laser receiver on this wall. And. Oh, Christ, how did this work? Right, well, let's build a bit in the middle. Um, so, he could see, from his side, he could see uh, a portable surface on the, the, the top again. So, now this time, uh, yeah, so again, he actually needs, he can't portal across. This is, and he needs to neither portal nor use this. There's another way, this has some more face plates. So, there uh, was another hidden laser um, over here that if he did decide to portal across, uh, was uh, going to to kill him again. Right, uh, now this is where it got freaky. No. That was two. Right. Just excuse me whilst I mutter to myself, whilst I try to remember my own silly puzzle. Right, uh, that one there. That was two. Right. So, we had two face plates uh, here. Uh, well, uh, one here, sending you over there, uh, like so. And another one, sending him back, like so. Now, these were both uh, set, I can't just set them high because there's no need for me to do so. These were set higher, so there was a death laser here. Uh, as a type of laser. Now, so I think Rage would look at the um, faith plate, look up at the laser and go, hmm, that's going to kill me, attempt to jump across or attempt to portal or when he actually needs to jump across. Um, so there's a trigger input on this laser here that turns the laser off. So as he travels through this cube, the laser turns off and he manages to land on the other side. Now, so he can't just grab this cube and take it back to this button. Which I'm now adding. Thank you. Um, there is a fizzler. Fizzler, fizzler, fizzler. Because portal... I haven't made these... Uh, these difficult because I I think portal maps... Well, I played through portal, I didn't find none of the puzzles majorly difficult. So a lot of these puzzles are very simple. Um, just there's multiple ways of solving them. There's only one correct way. If you try to solve it the wrong way, it's going to kill you. Uh, trying to stick with my killing rage theme uh, that I kind of have going at the moment. Um, so, uh, right, uh, he needed to, uh, set the cube, I can't remember how he turned off this fizzler, so he would set the cube at the portal, set a portable surface, uh, so it would activate this, this was connected to... What was this connected? This, this was connected to the fizzler. I think he had two cubes. I'm just going to go double check. Yeah, he did have two cubes. Yes, he did. Um, he had two cubes in this chamber. That's why. So, 
And let's just place another second cube there. Okay, so he would have to set the laser at the point to turn off this fizzler. And then once the fizzler's turned off, he can then take the second cube back with him over to here, place it on the um, the square, back across. Uh, this square would open the door here. Come on, door. Let's place you down. I'm always having trouble with these doors. Come on. Where's the little symbol I want? See, this gets frustrating in Portal sometimes, is when you want to move an item, it doesn't bring up that thing <laughs> to move it to where you want. Right. Uh, so that would be uh, the fourth. Counting's correct again now. Uh, fourth chamber solved. And then for the final chamber, um, I basically just had a nice large chamber. Uh, I can't bother to make this neat because it was so simple. Oop. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Um, it was actually, it was level with these chambers, so it wasn't quite set out like this, but just so you guys get the gist. So, um, he needed, so it was it was level, it wasn't a drop down, so he could walk back into this chamber. Uh, he needed to take the, um, this cube with him, because once this has been used to deactivate that and you've set the cube over there, this cube is no longer needed, so you need to take this cube with you and set it on a button. Now this button was set over here for a reason. And this whole area was just a nice big void of water. And we had a fizzler uh, set here. I didn't really realise I set a fizzler there. Um, because even if he... Ah, uh, because if he took the cube with him, jumped across, there was no way back, so he needed to open the door before continuing. Uh, so we'd see the button there. If he, yeah, needed to go back to the cube, because he jumped over with the cube. Um, he wouldn't be able to exit, so I've set, just set it, so he just, see, again, being a bit nice to your rage if you're watching this, you see, I uh, could have set, made it a little bit more meaner. Um, but, uh, don't want to give you uh, frustrating loading screens because I've made a terrible map. Now, this was a 50 50 um, faith plate chamber. Now, I'm not going to put all the gubbins in that shows you how I was setting back to the beginning. Now, one of these is correct, one of these is wrong. Now, I've purposely set the sputtering closer to this one because I know Rage is actually quite lazy. Oh, I'm hoping he's going to be, he'll set the button and go, oh, I'll try this one just because it's closer, he can't bother to watch it at the side. This one's going to reset him back to the beginning. Uh, when it resets him back to the beginning, um, for my, I've actually used, um, see all oh, this is actually the wrong way around. <laughs> it was all this way around when I built it. Uh, but there we go. No, it wasn't, that, it was that way around. Here we go. Right, this will actually send him back to a beginning outer hole, which Rage may spot at the beginning, so he may predict he's going to get reset. So, he could clearly see there was a, a, a hole. Oops, come on. Out the way. He could clearly see, oh. There was a hole here, which sent him through some faith plates back to the beginning. Now, when he got sent back to the beginning, I had actually set... I only just realised this. I've never set this block to it, just because I've never found the purpose of it. Um, but there is a... Uh, if you can't see, there is a trigger autosave cube. Come on, get onto the screen. There we go. Look at that. Trigger autosave. So it means he will autosave. So the last faith plate that sent him back to the beginning, uh, that he would hit... Um, would send him through the autosave, um, therefore having to play through the whole map again. So there was an autosave and there was another trigger input and this trigger input was connected to all the cubes, um, so it would reset all the cubes, resetting all the puzzles. Uh, the only thing it wouldn't reset was this one door, um, which I wasn't too fussed about because he would already know the answers. Therefore meaning you'd have to play through the whole map again, uh, just to choose the other faith plate. Um, I hope he falls for that trap. I've got a feeling if he does fall for it, he's not going to bother playing the map through again. Um, he seemed to... Uh, it's not up yet, but he messaged me on Steam saying he bossed it this week uh, and got through all the main chambers quickly. He actually says he got made for the main chambers quickly. I know he didn't complete Eunice Jets, 
uh, which I did manage to complete my underway rage, so beat you there. Uh, don't know why I decided to make that noise, but we'll uh, ignore that. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so this cube was connected to the final door, which I've lost somewhere. Where is the final door gone? So I always worry that I'm going to make Rage a map one week and lose where I've put... There it is. Put the final door, like, here. And realise I've just put the exit, like, right at the spawn. Like up here somewhere <laughs> so you can literally just start and go through the exit just because I forgot to set the exit all the way right down the exit uh, so and you can clearly see that this cube here connect to uh, where's it gone there we are to the far door on the far side oh. uh, right so that was this ended up a little bit different, this bottom chamber was level with this chamber here on the side so it was easier to reset him up through here um, so I hope you enjoyed guys, if you want to watch Rage play through this map and get frustrated to getting the wrong answers uh, the link will be in the description below um, I am still needing, come on guys I need some more guys for my Minecraft Let's Plays, um, I've had a good 5 or 6 people uh, want to play uh, my glitched version or my glitch, I, I did, I have a full recording with some people now waiting for me to post it up, um, I did it the Minecraft server glitched and set up a load of blocks um, in the way of the server. In the way of the server? Yeah, in the way of uh, some of the minecarts heading down to Epion. So uh, I'm going to redo that same thing again. So I'm going to, I am going to post up the glitched event and I am going to have a winner of the glitched event which will go up on the winner's podium. Um, but um, I am going to, I'm doing a new one, I'm about to go out and record a new one now, and I am going to, which are with the guys from the glitched event, so the same people from the glitched event are going to be on, uh, bar the winner, because the winner's already won, he's going to go through to another event, uh, and I am going to have the, um, the winners, I'm going to do like a, a winners to buy, so I've got the winner of the first week, I'm going to have the winner of the glitched event, which I shall put up, the winner of today, and then I'm going to replay the glitched event next week, um, with, um, new people, so it's why I haven't put the glitched event up, because I'm going to play it through with new people with the same thing, um, so it shan't glitched, so they don't know the answers to what I've done, uh, so I don't want to give away anything, hence why I've not posted it up yet. So, uh, look forward to that guys, if you want to play, I've got open slots for two weeks now, so again, I've only got about six people, I need to fill two weeks worth of slots of four people, so uh, if you ask me to play, if you add me on Skype, I'll put my link in the description below. Um, you're pretty much guaranteed to play at the moment. Uh, it'll either be uh, next week or the week after. You're pretty much guaranteed to spot. So, uh, if for some reason I get lots of you um, asking to play, then uh, I, I'm, I say I will add you to one. You're going to be guaranteed to slot as long as you. The, all you need to have is Skype and a mic. That's all you need. I need a mic. I want people to be able to hear to talk to each other. So as long as you've got Skype and a mic, you can play. I've got a couple of people who haven't got mics at the moment, but I'm short on people, so I'm using them. So if you've always got Skype and a mic, uh, you can play. So a bit of a long outro there, guys. Sorry about that. I uh, hope you didn't just uh, go, fuck this, he's finished his map and disappear. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.